Good morning. It's Friday, May 19th, 2023. This is your Georgia WeatherNet morning update. Georgia 511 traffic cam near Northside Drive, north of Macon. I-75 showing the traffic is flowing well, but mainly looking at the sky here. We do have a pretty uh, thin layer of clouds this morning, almost impossible to see on our satellite imagery. We look at the infrared satellite through the overnight hours and it really doesn't show up, so it's a pretty thin cloud deck. So we'll see some sunshine later on today and that will help warm us up a bit. And there's where the traffic cam is right there. And then we do have a little bit of uh, extra cloud cover here just west of Macon and some light reflectivity. Most of that is not reaching the ground. We see some showers across the state line in South Carolina and we look out into the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Look at this big blob right here. This is not going to affect us. This is actually a nor'easter. This is a low pressure system that's going to move right up the uh, eastern seaboard, head up into the uh, New England states. If it were a little earlier in the year, that would be a big snowstorm. Looks like there may actually be some snow in eastern Canada. Uh, uh, as a result of this once it reaches up there, but this is the first time we've seen a nor'easter in quite a while this season anyway, so that's starting to show that our overall global wet weather patterns are starting to change just a bit. We're getting out of that El Ni uh, La Nina that you've heard about heading toward El Nino and that's going to change our weather as well. We can talk about that another time if you'd like 63 at the Atlanta airport. We have 63 in Columbus again some clouds and direction. Statesboro also at 63. Savannah's at 66 and already 70 degrees to get started in Valdosta. Here's our severe weather outlook for today. Looks pretty quiet, so mix of sun and clouds for a good part of the state. Maybe a few thunderstorms down along the state line uh, against Florida. And then as we move into tomorrow, level one out of five risk of severe weather does cover Columbus, LaGrange, Albany, Macon, all the way over to Vidalia and Statesboro. Thunderstorms along the coastline. We could see thunderstorms anywhere in the state of Georgia. This is part of a strong frontal system that's going to push through and actually help that nor'easter I was telling you about scoot on up the seaboard and that uh, frontal system pushes in and kind of stalls out. However, on Sunday, our severe weather risk is going to be relatively low just looking at general thunderstorm risk for most of the state. So let's take a look at the modeling. Things are pretty quiet for us today. You can see those storms I told you about continue to track up toward the northeast. We're going to see a mix of sun and clouds across the state of Georgia. With that sunshine, we warm up a bit. That unsettles the atmosphere, so we could see a few pop-up thunderstorms as we move into the afternoon hour. So we get 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon. You can see a few little dots of green here and there. Most of us will not see rain today. Some of us will. There will be pretty brief thunderstorms. Not a big deal. We move through the overnight hours. We'll see a little bit of cloud cover, some fog tomorrow morning. Back behind me, there is that frontal system starting to get itself together. You see those showers, a few thunderstorms in there moving through Alabama, beginning to head into northwest Georgia by tomorrow afternoon, and then pushing through uh, metro Atlanta, starting to head through uh, Carrollton, LaGrange, 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. And then we move through the overnight hours in the Sunday morning. Still going to see some thunderstorms in there. All right, this doesn't look like a lot going on through Macon. But yes, we will see some thunderstorms embedded with this. We do have some pretty good uh, frontal lift. We move into Sunday morning and you're going to see this is kind of stall out, spread out, and we'll see a good chance of rain for most of the state as we move through the day on Sunday, Sunday evening. Low pressure here locked in in southwest Georgia. Some more of that lifting, rising air. So more showers and thunderstorms, mainly for middle and south Georgia as we head into Sunday evening. Still looking at the cloud cover in the northern part of the state. So be weather aware tomorrow. Most of the state of Georgia, of course, will be right here with any uh, severe weather updates from the Georgia Weather Net. Make sure you can get those severe weather alerts on your wireless phone and a weather radio. Always a good thing to have. Here's your latest forecast now for northwest Georgia to southeast Georgia.